Hey guys, welcome to our last part of chapter 17. Now we're talking about maintenance and so on. So now I'm going to touch about maintenance at uh, Family Athletic Club. So this one here is a question that really requires you to 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 think outside of the box and about choosing between breakdown. How do we call it? Um, preventive maintenance and breakdown maintenance obviously as a normal human being every time that they tell you that you need to be sick so that you go to you go and see the doctor or you need to go and do the medical checkup we will necessarily choose for checkup so that we avoid um unforeseen situation this is also the same thing for companies you have a breakdown situation whereby it's only when the company is down that you don't that you choose to, to go and see the doctor to maintain it or you choose even when there's no problem and you do that but as operation managers we don't really think like that we think more about the cost which one is going to be more costly which one is going to be less costly and go for the one that is less costly because at the end of the day I want to save remember your life is all about always always about maximizing profit and minimizing loss now the first thing that we need to do first of all they're talking about this case study is talking about uh, the family athletic club and if you read they are talking about the company that is really thinking about hiring another company that will help them uh, maintain their facility for preventive maintenance but now one problem with that company is like according to what they say they say that the company name is going to be sim sim is simkin they are going to charge the company an average of 51 and um, of 5160 rand per week now for the service and according to what they are saying they mentioned that if these people do this uh maintenance there will be an average of only three breakdowns per week so it means that even if we do our preventive maintenance we call other people to to maintain the facility for us we will have a breakdown of three breakdowns per week but then when one of our machine is not working we are losing an average of 1850 in loss of the service and repair cost so this one is like whether we are doing the preventive maintenance whether we are doing the breakdown maintenance at the end of the day if one of our machine breakdown we'll have to pay this amount here but they also give you some additional information they also tell you that according to us or according to the companies of the observation it happened that there was one week where there was no error. There was one week where there was, I mean, no breakdown. There was another week where there was a breakdown. There was three weeks that had two breakdown each, meaning week one we had two breakdowns. Week two we had two breakdowns. Week three we had three uh, two breakdowns. Now we also had five weeks with three breakdowns each, meaning week one three breakdowns, week two three breakdowns which a week three three breakdowns week four three breakdowns and finally week five three breakdowns so these are just of the vision and these are ways you can use to identify i mean to to understand the data but now what is the use of the data that we have so far remember at the end of the day we just need to compare between breakdown a uh, break down maintenance and preventive maintenance which one should we take between the bucket which one should we choose now the thing is I, I, as we say here you are choosing things based on your on your costs you, do, you not just make choice uh, just because they sound nice no based on your cost now in this case here the first thing that you need to do first of all is to calculate what we call the expected number of failures this one is like okay let's remove the fact that we need to find let's remove the fact that we are going to call those people to the preventive maintenance based on the data that we have here what is going to be the expected so normally step one what you do is like you calculate you calculate the expected uh, number of 
breakdown now number of breakdown between bracket so what we do from here we calculate the expected number of breakdowns and we are not going to we are going to do them based on the information that we already have so we are going to calculate based on the table that we have here that says that we have the number of breakdowns per week we have the number of week they occurred so this one is the number of breakdown per week this is uh number of breakdown per week and then we have the number of week which breakdown occurred number of weeks uh, breakdown occurred so now what we're going to do is like we have the number of breakdown per week which is we're going to get 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and so on now in our value here we have in our table we have 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 now from here we have now the the breakdown the number of week in which they happen so we have one week with no breakdown one week with one breakdown three weeks with three breakdowns and so on so in this case we have one three no 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 one one three five i think so it one one three five nine eleven seven eight and five and five now based on what they are telling us they tell us already that the information that we have here is out of 50 weeks but now what we need to do we need to do what we call the the the, uh, the relative frequency between bracket so this relative frequency relative frequency it will tell us what is an average number of, of breakdown or what is the number of breakdown per week a relative and then from there we we'll calculate the expected so what we do in this case we take 1 divided by 50 it is in percentage and then we have 1 divided by 50 again and then we have 3 divided by 50 uh, 5 divided by 50 9 divided by 50 11 divided by 50 7 divided by 50 uh, 8 divided by 50 and we have 5 divided by 50 now the answer that we get are going to call normally obviously the sum of everything will be equal to 1 the sum of everything in this row here will be equal to 1 and the 50 that we got is the sum of all the values that are here also that are going to equal to 1 then from here what we do hmm, we need to calculate the value that will help us find the expected frequency so we have the expected expected number of breakdowns so to find the expected number of breakdowns we take the number of breakdown per week time its relative frequency and we will add all the values in this row then we find the expected number of breakdown so in this case which means that we'll get 0 multiplied by 1 over 50 which gives you 0 and then we have 1 actually we are taking these values here we are taking these ones and this one so then we have 1 multiplied by 1 over 50 and according to our value we get a value of 0 0.02 and then next we have 2 multiplied by 3 over 50 and the answer that we get is 0, um, 12 I think 0, 12 and then the, we are on this row here because this is the one that you now we are on this row and this row we get 3 that we multiply by 5 over 50 and the answer that you get is 0, 0,3 then we are on row 4 row 4 you have 4 you multiply by 9 over 50 
and the answer that we get is 0, 0,72. Then we are on row 5. Row 5 takes 5 multiplied by uh, 11 over 50. And the answer that we get is 1, 1, I think. Then we have row 6. And row 6 we multiply by 7 over 50. 7 over 50 which gives us a value of 0, 0.84 and then we have row 7 here which is 7 times 8 divided by 50 and the value that we get is 1,12 and finally we get 8 that we multiply by so we have 8 that we multiply by 5 over 50 and the answer that we get it's 0 0.8 now let me just check something 50 divided by 15 yeah so the sum of all the values that we get which is 0 plus 0 comma 0 2 plus 0 comma 12 plus 0 comma 3 plus 0 comma 7 2 plus 1 comma 11 i mean 1 comma 1 0 comma 8 3 8 4 1 comma 12 and so on the value that we get here gives you 5 comma 0 2 breakdown per week now it means that normally if, if we are we are just working normally we will be expecting 5,02 breakdown per week now the second step now step two what we need to do now is to calculate the breakdown uh maintenance the breakdown man maintenance cost this is what we'll be calculating from now and now do calculate it because according to our information here in this case which you are doing as i said you forget about the the company that will hire to do the preventive maintenance we do as if it doesn't exist we are just working like a normal company so according to what they are saying they say that when the treadmill or equipment bike does break down during a work hour, a working hour, the company is going to cost uh the going is going it's going to cost the company an average of one thousand eight hundred and fifty so to repair the machine. So this is one we need to repair one machine here. Yeah. So we have one thousand eight hundred and fifty. This is uh, if we need to repair if we have one breakdown. But then, what if we have fire breakdown, CO2? Now, in this case, we have 1850 that we multiply by 5,02. And the answer that we get is 9287. Remember that the value that we get here is in rand, meaning that this is what the company is going to, to have to pay in case they have to do the maintenance by themselves. But now this is only step two. Then we need to do step three, which is to calculate the preventive maintenance. Now for us to calculate the preventive maintenance, what we need to do, now we need to consider the fact that the company is going to hire sinking to conduct the preventive maintenance according to what they are saying they say that if they need to hire sinking those companies are going to charge them five thousand one hundred and sixty per week so they are going to charge sorry so they are going to charge us five hundred a five thousand one hundred and sixty this is what they will charge us if we work normally uh, if we work with them but they say that even if we work with them we should be expecting three breakdown per week while the company tell us that even if we if, even if we do the preventive maintenance we will still have to pay 1850 if we have a breakdown so but in this case we will add three so that means we add three times 1850 in rain like this now which gives us a value of ten thousand 
7 and 10 in rand so the value that you get here uh, the value that we get here is in rand it tells us that if we need to, to do a preventive maintenance we will have to pay a total of 10,000 mm, yeah we'll have to pay a total of 10,710 but if we need to do a breakdown maintenance we'll have to pay a total of 9,287 so as an operation manager you need just to decide now that step 4 is to select select the best maintenance policy now in this case here you, you it's obvious that i will go for the one that is the least expensive which is the breakdown so we should go for breakdown maintenance so this one according to the company it will be less expensive because if they need to take this one they only have to pay nine thousand anyways that is about this part so thank you so much again thank you so much for this chapter i really hope that it was really helpful and all the information that we did if you have any problem contact me via email you can contact me sambil thank you so much for your time again and for this video i hope that it was helpful yeah see you